that she has over many nations and many people. Now, this whore with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of the names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and bedecked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth now the honorable Elijah Muhammad has said and that this woman dressed in purple and scarlet color sitting upon a scarlet colored beast mm. with seven heads and ten horns is referring to Rome Rome was built on seven hills and this church that sits like a prostitute that's what John the Revelator referred to him and this is also what Martin Luther wrote when Martin Luther broke from the church Martin Luther saw that great whore as the Pope. No, I, I, want, I want you to think today. Dressed in purple royalty, sitting on a scarlet colored beast. He is a beast supporting the prostitute. And the Whore sits on many waters. She has power over many people, but she holds a golden chalice, and in it is filth and abominations of the earth. Boy, that's a heavy indictment of the so-called church. What have you done? What have you done? You have used God's name as a shield to practice dirty faith, dirty religion in his name. They came out of Europe with a cross and destroyed the peoples of the earth and brought the peoples of the earth into subjection to the image of Caucasian people. Come on now. The great Roman Emperor Constantine who became a Christian originated the sign of the cross with a snake wrapping itself around that cross and the Latin words in hoc signo win case in this sign or with this sign we conquer and with the cross they went into Europe Africa Asia and they gave people religion and took away the freedom, the justice, 
the equality, the raw materials of the darker people of the earth. Talk to me. Yes, With the cross, they slaughtered the native people in the Western Hemisphere. Murdered the Carib Indians. Enslaved the blacks. In the name of Jesus, you were heathens and unworthy to be looked upon as an equal to white people, so the church made you a nigger. Listen to me. Not the church of Jesus Christ, but a false church operating in Jesus' name. And every one of us that have believed in that false church are like people committing fornication with her. You're laying down with a whore. And the whore is not teaching you good manners or good morals. You are a funky, filthy, low-down people that have been made that way by your so-called Christian masters. is in the church you are not a people that Jesus can accept you are unworthy of Jesus do you think that Jesus would accept you coming to him dressed like a harlot with the heart of a harlot me do you think Jesus would accept you as a lesbian you could come to him like that but you can't remain like that and stay in the favor of Jesus not the Jesus the true Jesus of the Bible and Holy Quran no sir do you think Jesus will accept you singing songs in the choir songs of hope but a homosexual a wine bibber a coke user come on now hell no hell no maybe the church will accept you but christ condemns this crap that's going on in his name a mystery babylon full of abomination and filth she's the mother of whores babylon that wicked city her merchant ships went to all the ports of the earth and in her were the Jews. And she mistreated the Jews, the Hebrews. And because of her mistreatment of them, one day there was some handwriting seen on the wall. And these words, mene, mene, tikel, yufasin, meaning your kingdom has been weighed in the balance and found wanting. This is America. She does some good things. I won't say that she doesn't. But she's low down and filthy. You will accept her because she's made you like she is. You are not even qualified to even say what is good anymore because you judge good by what is good to you personally. 
And if America lets you carry on your filth and your foolishness, she's good. In America, you're free to be a freak. But you're not free to be a righteous person. The righteous are persecuted while the wicked can have their way. She's a powerful country. But she's very wicked. Sodom and Gomorrah looks like light stuff compared to what's going on in America. The evil that brought the flood in the days of Noah. America looks, they look like a choir boy in comparison to the evil that we are doing. You're not out of this, brothers. You're not out of this, sisters. You wrapped up in the white man. And his aim is, if I'm going down, you are the people of God, all right, but I'm going to take you down with me. That's his aim. And I'll prove it before the day is over, and then I'm through with you. I'm through with you. And what does that mean? Because there ain't no teaching gonna make you better you so rotten that the only thing that will make you better is the chastisement of God and because I realize that I'm just about through teaching you anything but I'm gonna get your blood off my hands How is God going to destroy America? What instruments you going to use whenever God gets ready to destroy any people? I mean, if you, if you can't take it, you can hit the door. It's all right with me. You can't run from this. It'll find you in the crack house. It'll find you in the whole house. It'll find you in the bar room. But all your crap is going to cease. Yeah. All your crap is going to cease. God is angry. He is very angry. I didn't tell you last week I was coming out. Because I had not planned to. But when I went home, the next day I saw something. I said, let me go and get that blood off my hands. You will not hear a lot from me because it ain't necessary. I've really done my job. <laughs> yeah. This is not about entertainment. You know, I'm going out to hear my man today. You know, well, what am I, a saxophone player, a singer? Is that the way you see me? I'm going out to hear my man today. What good does it do if you don't hear, you don't listen, and you don't carry into practice what you hear, what did you come to hear for? We ain't begging for ears. We're trying to get a people to change their ways. And you're not changing your ways. You hear the word while you sport and while you play. And you leave me and you go right back to the crap that you in. Yeah. So it don't make you better. But something is going to make you better. Oh. I'm going to tell you what that is. When God sends you a warner, 
He always raises the warner from among the oppressed. That's his pattern, Bible and Quran. The question is, if America is going down, and she is, who is the oppressed? It's either the Native American or you. The indigenous people. And you have suffered worse than the Native American. Because the Native American can still speak some of his language. He knows something of his history. But you have been totally destroyed. And that's why God is angry with America. And you may forgive her. But I don't know that God ever will. She's going to have to do something real big to get out from under what's coming. is if America is going down and she is who is the oppressed it's either the Native American or you the indigenous people and you have suffered worse than the Native American because the Native American can still speak some of his language he knows something of his history, but you have been totally destroyed. And that's why God is angry with America, and you may forgive her, but I don't know that God ever will. She's going to have to do something real big to get out from under what's coming. I intend to make this known very clearly to America. Yes, you know, some of you think that Farrakhan is crazy, you know. <laughs> you know, he just says these powerful things to stir things up. No, no, it's bigger than that. I gotta do what I gotta do to avoid Allah's wrath on me. Look at the warner that comes to the Babylon. What is the word? Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven. Don't integrate in her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her way of thinking. Come out of her name. Come out of her false worship. And come into a righteous code of conduct that will allow you and me to escape what God has purposed for her. Now, the question is, have you heard the warning? See, the Quran goes like this. Did not my reminder come to you? Did not my reminder come to you? Did you not hear a caller from among you inviting you to the truth? You heard it while you partied. You heard it while you played. You did hear. So the judgment has to deal with, did you hear? And how did you respond? You know America is wicked. And you know white people have been evil in their mistreatment of dark people all over the earth. So if God's judgment comes down on America, what do you have to say about it? Do you think God is unjust? If he says he want to save you, why don't you want to be saved? 